are in Nuremberg and we're about to go for the latest live match. We're about to go to Bayreuth to see a dry league game or a third league, which kind of roughly um, accounts for the third division in England or League One. We're going to see Bayreuth versus Vale uh, at the stadium of Bayreuth. So yeah, I'm just about to get on the train here. You can see the Deutsche Bahn Regional Express up to Bayreuth. So yeah. We'll be back in touch when we're in Bayreuth. So here we are, we've arrived in Bayreuth. We're just at the station here now. So yeah, just take a little look around at the city. We're a little bit outside the city centre here in uh, where the station is, but a little bit later on after the game, we will be going over to the centre to show you a little bit of that. So yeah, we're just gonna get our Google Maps on now and find the stadium and where we need to go. So yeah. We'll see you at the stadium. So here we are, we've arrived at the stadium. You can just see there the Hans Walter Stadion. Hans Walter Ville Stadion. This is where Bayreuth play the home games. You can see just a few fans milling around at the moment. We've just actually been turned away from the uh, the turnstile because we were in the wrong block. So yeah, we'll have to see what's going to happen. Hopefully we're going to be able to get into the, uh, the block around the corner in fan block N. We're actually going to be meeting up with the uh, the guys from Bundesliga Boxes as well, which should be pretty cool. So we'll see you when we well, come. Here we have Irina. <laughs> yeah, with a couple of beers in hand. She's just got us uh, both a beer. What what do you think of the beer so far, Irina? <laughs> yeah, it's a Bayreuther beer. It's actually a really famous beer. This one, a really famous German beer from the local area. What do you think of the match day so far, Irina? Oh, like <laughs> Irina wants to sit in the main stand, but actually we're going to be in the standing area where the atmosphere is. Yeah, but yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and meet the Bundesliga box guys now. So yeah, see you after. We're just in the stadium, in the Hans uh, Walter Stadion now. You can see the main kind of standing area over there, which is where we're going to be in a little bit. We're actually just getting a drink. There's a really nice complex over here as well for getting a drink, which is really nice. And yeah, as over there you can see the main stand as well. That is the home stand. And I believe that uh, over there is actually the away team, the Fell fans, the sport club Fell, who are the visitors today, coming down from Nord Rhine West Farland. But there don't appear to be very many away fans yet, but they may be a little bit more. We're still about 20 minutes away from kickoff yet. But as you can see, it's a really old school ground. Really, really good atmosphere building here. You can see the players just warming up on the pitch as well. This is my first dry league game, so I'm really looking forward to this. Took us a bit of time to find the right block, but eventually we got there, and here we are. Just about 20 minutes, 15 minutes before kickoff. So we'll see you in a bit. The players are coming out onto the pitch now. I think about maybe two, three thousand here. We're also here with the Bundesliga boxes, Richard as well. How's it going? What do you think of the match day so far? I we're having a brilliant weekend, and I'd really recommend coming here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it looks like a, it's a really old school ground, isn't it? I would say maybe two, three thousand attendance, maybe a little bit more because it's quite a few in the standing area over there. Not that much of an atmosphere going yet, but I'm sure the ultras will get going uh, pretty soon. You can see the Bell fans buried just behind the players there, maybe one, two hundred have made the journey over from Nord Rhine West Farland, but yeah, hoping for a good game today. We'll have to see what happens in the match. So SC Fell have taken the lead here at Bayreuth. Bayreuth basically can't get out of their own half at the moment. They're really, really struggling. Quite a nice goal. We actually missed the goal incredibly because we weren't getting a beer. Like, the beers are too good, yeah, but it's uh, by right have a free kick, a shocking tackle from the full defender. So they actually have a free kick just over there now. So it's pretty much the first chance that by right have had a chance to get the ball in the box the whole match. Gonna see it stay the players on the ground here. Look, take Alexander Nundaga! Yeah. Massive, massive here. <laughs> Look more like a rugby league here. He, he did get a yellow card. Yeah. He has got booked, so let's just stay with it for the free kick now. I'm going to put the ball in the box. Hopefully, Bayreuth can at least get a half chance here. But you see the Bayreuth Ultras are not too happy so far from what I can see. Free kick is going to come over here now from the side. Ball comes into the box. Oh, it's a good effort. Oh, it's easily saved though by the goalkeeper. But Lisa shot on target for Bayreuth. Score so far, Bayreuth nil, fell one. Goal for Bayreuth. They've not done very much in the whole game, but they have leveled the match. 
And then we've got a bit of Wagner music as well, and then the, the goal celebrations too. Obviously Wagner from Bayreuth as well, but yeah, what a, what a game really, isn't it? It's quite an open match, one all. Not many chances from Bayreuth, but yeah, they've found themselves level. The, the Ultras are going wild over there as well. The Vale fans are silent. But yeah, they should probably be 2 3 in Long Berlin. There you go. Felix! And the Torschütze with his fifth season tour, the number nine, Alexander! With his fifth goal of the season, Alexander! Alexander! Neuer Spielstand, Einstadt! Show me your office! <laughs> so it's one all at half time. I think it was a game of two, like a half of two halves, really. I think Vell in the first half were like well on top. It should have been probably two, three nil up and through. They were cutting through by right like last, but actually, since the equalizer, they've been the better side, really, by right. I think they've been pretty good. It's been a ni nice day as well here now in by right. Yeah, decent crowd on, yeah, it's been a good atmosphere. What do you think, Dave? Do you think it's good or? It's good. Well, it didn't start very well, I didn't think, for, um, for Baru, but yeah. yeah. It's better than Würzburg. Back into the game. Better atmosphere than Würzburg yesterday. <laughs> equal, yeah, about equal. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's been a decent half for a relegation dogfight in the Dry League. But yeah, it's, um, I'll have to see what happens in the second half. Hoping for a Bayreuth home win today. About 15, 20 minutes into the second half, and we've got a free kick for Bayreuth. Still one all at the moment, but Bayreuth are looking the better team at the minute. The free kick comes in, oh, it's nowhere near basically, but yeah, you can see the ultras over there at Bayreuth making a little bit of noise. Not the most noise I've ever heard at a German game, but yeah, still, you know, waving the flags and things like that, but yeah, about, what would you say, about another 20, 25 minutes to go, still one all, but I think Bayreuth, there you go, yeah. Deep so I mean 70 minutes on the clock, what I expected, another 20 minutes to go, a substitute for Verl. Yeah, I think Verl, they started the game so well, and they were playing some really good football early on, but they've kind of faded as the game went on, and at the moment, Bayreuth looked the better side. Quite interesting, they play the ball out from the back as well, really, Verl, which is not something you'd see in the English lower leagues. But yeah, it's a um, oh, poor play there to lose possession again. So throw in for Bayreuth inside the Verl half. Bayreuth, you could see that they have the more urgency. They want to win this game. They would come off the bottom of the table because obviously they are currently 20th in the league. Verl are just uh, three points better off than Bayreuth. So a bit of a scramble at the bottom, but we'll have to see. I, I, I think Bayreuth are looking the more likely side to win it at the moment. But, you know, anything can happen in the last 20 minutes of the game. Fell yeah, have taken the lead and it was actually a kind of poorly clear corner but what an effort on the volley as well from the Fell man. Brilliant effort into the bottom corner. The Bayreuth fans are silent. About 75, 76 minutes on the clock and Fell are 2-1 up. You know, Bayreuth have been the better side in this second half but now Fell lead. Yeah, obviously it's going to be a big win for them if they can hold on to this but hopefully Bayreuth can nick a draw for the for the ultras and for the fans 3600 on as well which is a decent crowd for a side that are bottom of the uh third league obviously only a couple of hundred come up from probably that's been a bit generous as well saying a couple of hundred come up from fell probably only 100 away fans but yeah the away side lead 2-1 now so you can see the local cuisine here it's a pair of by writer sausages as you probably know, like every town in Germany has its own sausage, basically. This is the uh, the Bayreuther version. Not quite as good as the Nuremberger version, as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, still pretty decent. Got 72 minutes on the clock, and they've just made a substitution. The home side, not looking that likely they're going to get an equaliser in a minute, is it really? I think Verl have... Their long throws literally make Rory de Lapp look like an amateur. Like some of the uh, the long throws have been absolutely brilliant from the Verl man. Obviously the, the the leading goal at the moment came from a long throw which was miscleared. 
and smashed in on the volley. Brilliant effort. Looks as though a bit of time wasted here from the Thurl side as well. Well, I've got to say, one of the best goal announcers I've ever heard here at, uh, by Roy. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, he's so passionate and fantastic. But yeah, bit of a big rain cloud as you can see there coming over the stadium. I expect it's going to be a wet last 20 minutes or so, but hopefully an equaliser for Bayreuth is coming sometime soon. As the rain comes down, Fairl have made it 3-1 now. Yeah, I think basically they've been outplayed for long parts of this game. Fairl have looked by far the better side. And it, it's, in truth, it's pretty worrying for Bayreuth. I mean, the bottom of the league played a side that are only three points better off than they've been outplayed for long periods. You know, they, they've huffed and puffed, but ultimately ultimately not had enough quality. The 3-1 down with about 10 minutes to go. And to be honest, I think if there's going to be another goal, it's probably going to be 4-1 to Berlin through. But yeah, it's been an entertaining match, definitely. I think for a bottom of the league, League One kind of clash, it's been really entertaining. You know, the beers have been good, the atmosphere has been good, but yeah, ultimately, Bayreuth getting schooled, really, in ways. 3-1 to the... The game has finished, it's finished 3-1 to the away side, but yeah, really entertaining game. Yeah, what do you think, guys? Dave, I want to give you commentary, what do you think? Who, do, who deserved to win the game, do you think? I think, well, definitely Beal, obviously, um, yeah. They yeah. just looked a bit more on the ball, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. A bit faster, yeah. 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 a bit more professional. I think they had a bit more quality, to be honest, yeah, and they deserved to win the game. Obviously, you can see the players there celebrating. It's a big win for them. They go six points clear of Bayreuth now at the bottom of the league. So they look good enough to stay up for a fourth. Obviously, only in the third league, uh, season in the third league. Yeah, any other comments, guys? Richard, what, what did you think? Do you think better, type, better team won? Or? I think it's a nail in the coffin. Uh, really, Verl uh, won comfortably. Um, hey, let's look at the rainbow. Exactly, yeah, the rainbow's out, yeah. The rainbow's out for Verl. It's a great win. And, uh, what, what do you think? Any other comments? Uh, I, I, well, I, th I think Verl were quite clearly the better team. It was only 3-1. There could have been 4-5. I mean, you know, it was, uh, I mean, the second goal was quite fantastic. Oh, it was a brilliant winner. Fantastic. You've got to watch that on YouTube, guys. It was an absolute sprint. What a take. We even got a bit of the, the Beatles, I think, to finish off as well. <laughs> I think it's a tough season ahead. Yeah, it is. Um, Bayreuth are really going to struggle to stay in the third division. Obviously, in the first season, uh, back in the third league, they're really going to struggle. Bit of Beatles to end, but yeah. Look aside, that are a bit out of the depth to me, really, at this level. Verl will comfortably the better winners. But yeah, entertaining game. But yeah, final score, Bayreuth 1, Verl 3. So we've got our expert, Irina. What, what did you think of the game, then? Well, best team won. Every time I go to the game, this team I'm, this team I'm supporting is losing. Yeah. You're a bad luck charm, Irina. You're a bad luck charm. But it's the same with me every single time. Oh. I'm not sure I'm the only one, but luck, because I'm always getting with you. <laughs> okay. You can see the Bayreuth players there commiserating each other at the end, going over to the ultras who don't seem overly impressed in truth. But yeah, a bit of like a small applause for the players. They know that you know it's hard when you go from the regional league or into the the professional leagues of the dry league, but yeah, they realize that this is a side that are gonna struggle at this level. But yeah, really, really good day. That, Weird weather as well. I mean, as you can see, the really, really nice now. But in general, it's been raining, sunny, hot, cold, just about everything. But yeah, well recommended day out here at Bayreuth. But the home side lose quite comfortably. Yeah. Heading away from the stadium, and we can see the Sport Club Verl uh, coach. Obviously, the winners 3-1 today in Bayreuth. Yeah, fantastic result for the away side. They've got the long trip over to Nordrhein Westfalen now. But yeah, fantastic. 3-1 win for the away side, yeah. You can see a few of the coaches there, fantastic result for them. Well done to the away side, 3-1 winners. There you can see the Sport Club Verl coach. Yeah, the players are on there, fantastic 3-1 win for them. Yeah, safe journey home.